Good morning to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics. It is Sunday, the 21st of August, 2022. Over in the Western Gulf, I got to tell you, PTC number four there did not live up to what we thought it was going to do. Now, I'm going to say the computer models were not very bullish on it, and they ended up being right. It was just a weak impulse that brought some rain to parts of northern Mexico, southern Texas there. Other than that, not a big problem from 99L slash potential tropical cyclone number four. The potential was there, but it didn't live up to it all that much. Now we will start to focus our attention to the eastern Atlantic. Not much chance of development over the next couple of days, but around the five-day time frame, I think things are going to start to change out here. And not even necessarily with this area that is currently outlined by the National Hurricane Center. I think we're going to have a lot of energy coming off Africa, the overall pattern starting to become more favorable, and eventually something is going to develop out in the deep tropics, and we're going to need to track that very carefully over the coming days because a very favorable steering pattern looks to be setting up across the western portions of the Atlantic Basin. I'm going to go over that in much more detail in my Hurricane Outlook and Discussion video later tomorrow. First of all, the satellite animation here clearly over in the western parts of the Gulf there. Yeah, PTC4, you can't even really see it any longer. A lot of moisture, though, starting to gather in and around parts of northeast Texas along the I-20 corridor and down the I-35 corridor. There's going to be a lot of heavy rain. We'll address that and talk about that tomorrow as well. But this area out here, that's going to be the focus. A lot of disorganized clouds and showers and some thunderstorms. Not a very well-organized one singular area to watch right now, but I think that's going to change. We can see in the precipitable water animation, there's definitely a lot of water out there in the atmosphere. The atmosphere is fairly moist, and I think, again, the pattern is slowly becoming more favorable. We are in that window of opportunity now between now and the end of the month where the season is expected to ramp up climatologically that's what we'd expect to see, and I think that's what's going to happen gradually over the coming days, and we can see that starting to be reflected here in the GFS. This is the 6Z run. Look right there. At the end of the uh, period there, that's five days out, there's one little impulse that comes off. It starts to develop just to the south of the Cape Verde Islands, Cabo Verde Islands, whichever you prefer, and we're going to have to watch this. Something will come out of that pattern, which is a very complex pattern out that way, and again, I'll go over this in more detail in my Hurricane Outlook and Discussion video tomorrow afternoon. All right, so this is just a precursor as to what is coming. I think this coming week, things are going to start to get very busy, and we will end the month with something to track in the deep tropics and maybe even something that could impact land eventually. It's just a matter of time, I do believe. All right, and that being said, have a great rest of your Sunday, at least for this weekend and what's left of it. Things are nice and quiet. So, indeed, have a good rest of your Sunday. As always, thanks for tuning in. This has been What's Up with the Tropics. I'm Mark Suddeth. I'll be back with more for you tomorrow.